what we all saw was that the 2020 wildfires were a wake up call. Thousands of Oregonians will have their electricity shut off as early as tonight, lasting through at least Saturday due to strong winds. This is a safety measure conducted by utility companies to help prevent wildfires from sparking from their equipment as trees could fall into power lines. Something that all utilities are taking seriously. PGE has already started notifying nearly 30,000 impacted customers about the shutoffs. And notification Andrea Platt, spokesperson for PGE, says their team is prepared and ready for what's to come, assuring customers they're doing everything that they can to keep them safe. We make decisions about where we maintain vegetation, where we make system improvements. So how do we continue to harden our system to reduce the risk of wildfire? Pacific Power says this weekend's event is likely the largest power shutoff they've initiated yet, cutting power to 12,500 people. They say they're better prepared this year after being accused of starting or contributing to the 2020 wildfires with the addition of their weather tracking system. With those additional layers of meteorology uh, capabilities um, and then staging additional personnel um, and bringing in additional resources, um, it, it gives us that line of sight to um, know where to stage those ahead of the weather event so that when the weather event passes, uh, we're able to get on it and make uh, as quick and safe as possible restoration effort. Um, with all hands on deck. The Corbett Fire Department announced they will have fire patrols 24 hours a day while fire danger is high thanks to a $35,000 state grant that will compensate their 30 or so volunteers for their time patrolling. This is the first year they've done the program and we've been um, using it um, um, fairly heavily this year, having a lot of fire patrols out. Um, particularly late afternoons, um, you know, we haven't had extreme fire conditions yet, like what we're expecting this weekend. Corbett Fire has also bought additional resources in preparation for this wind event, including more chainsaws and wrenches to cut down trees if needed. Three school districts have already canceled school for Friday, September 9th, including Sweet Home, Silver Falls, and Sanium Canyon school districts. School is important for us, but um, our kids and families and their safety is, is paramount. San Diego Canyon Superintendent Todd Miller says his community is still processing the devastation they went through two years ago with the Beachy Creek fire, saying emotions have been high for many already. What is predict predicted weather-wise is nearly identical event to what happened two years ago. So it really has brought up a lot of emotions. You know, I think just in the past 24 hours, um, I've seen tears. Um, I've seen it on the, you can see it on the looks of people's faces um, that, that they're preoccupied, they're worried and concerned. Now, both PGE and Pacific Power say they have already started notifying those that will be affected by the public safety power shutoff event and will continue doing so throughout the weekend. Now, it's also important to note that some scammers are already targeting PGE customers, saying that their power will be shut off for non payments. Please note that this is not the case. PGE confirming these are, in fact, scammers, not the actual company. For KGW, I'm Daisy Caballero.